Volts, another great example of the youth on the side of the Volts. It's been a full day of paddle, the first of many over the next two weeks here in Miami. Underneath the lights and underneath the palm fronds. It was a fantastic performance from the women of the Las Vegas Smash. Ale Alonso. So young in age, but stepped up in a big time moment alongside Martita Ortega. The leader of those two. Ortega talking about how Alonso was a little nervous coming into it, but did not show a piece of that. Look at Pablo Garcia. And Cardona. Chasing that back to the glass. Fakes the smash and the smasher on top of it. There's the heavy arm with some extra voltage. Pablo Garcia. Striking back the smash. 15 all. Sixth match of the day. Four cuatro. Cardona still on the serve. Flattens the return, does Garcia. That ball ricocheting off the glass and back to the side of the smash. First game to the Las Vegas smash, a solid hold having just given up one point to get this set started. Thanks for joining us in the late night hours. It's Paddle After Dark. Google Vasquez in the backdrop. Was a part of the 2023 PPL season. One of the many to have played in the inaugural year here in North America. Cardona trying to come into the net there, just a step behind that volley. that over his left shoulder. Alfonso, a significant smash. One that does some damage. Love 30. Plenty of spin, gives that extra pop off the back glass. Pablo Garcia utilizing that six foot two frame, creating extra leverage. 30 0. Oh. 
40-30. A chance at a hold for the Volts. The head-to-head -head battle goes the direction of the Houston Volts game one, or excuse me. Game one, that is correct. The score is 1-1. One, one. Having to work his own hand off the glass. Mr. Turn. Decision, letting that come back. And the leave. Volts with a bit too much power. On the block. High bounce. And there's the fake yet again, but it's chased down by the Volts. Oh, nearly recovering the Portres. Trying to find out if there is actually a contact off that. Thirty forty. 40-30. Both teams still trying to find their footing here. Set one. Dead person. now on the defense and that is just a shot to the body to Pablo Garcia yikes that's gonna leave a mark look at this fantastic smash unfortunately ends up on the body of Garcia Vegas holds for a second time Cuando entro, están ahí, ¿eh? Aquí te están muy pegados, ¿eh? Entonces sigo con eso. Claro. Pero cuando tocamos de atrás de la chiquita, sí. Sí, sí, no, pero eso es ahí. Y ahí, eso, y ahí después sí. Se queda ahora, fácil. Ahora igual vamos a quedar al marrón. Pues, está más fácil. Claro, para mí va a ser más fácil. Se queda mucho, ¿eh? Se puede pegar un buen, buen globo alto. Sí, sí, que le peguen. Por eso. Que le peguen, que le peguen. ¿Sabes? Ya está. Ahora, ¿no? Sí, para eso. Si el globo bueno, el otro falla más. Claro. Que me refiero a que ahora pongo el globo para el largo. Se entera un poco. Sí. Es más fácil. Si, si, si está un poco la partida de globo bien, sí. el globo bueno, bueno, lo... libre. Claro. Si está más o menos, que no me gane el punto en el este que combate. Que el tubo. La, que la gane de vuelta. Sí. Sí. No, no hay como que la estropea. No sé, más lo pierde. Spirit of Pie on the side of the smash is smile sitting back out onto the court and onto the carpet. And the Ultra Paddle Club in Miami.
A ball about three inches too high finds the glass instead of the carpet. Quick lob. Who will secure themselves up at the net? It's the Volts first. All it took was once. Watch the vertical movement with these two teams. Plenty of times are attracting back to the glass, finding themselves back at the net. outside the court and somehow that skids across the carpet but Garcia is on it. Again chasing it back and a winning shot off the back glass. 15, so pretty. Great location. Alfonso. Alfonso spinning in circles into the corner. Flat topspin shot. Hard to bring that back. 30 ohm. And hope these four are a handful of night owls as we will be playing beyond that midnight mark. Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps, or Sin City, one of the two. 40, 30. Alfonso just moving out of the way. Not much you can do there. Too much power. So the second game now on the side of the Houston Volts. Tied up to all. Alfonso trying to find that across the length of the net. Cordona getting stuck in the back corner. Cardona with an absolute whip of an arm.
another significant attack. Alfonso playing that backhand side. Look what he can do. Strong reach, kick smash. Another kick smash, this one well off the glass and onto the other side. So far, a series of holds between these two as Las Vegas, Las Vegas started off this set. Now leading 3-2. Claro, que pase vale. por el medio y se mete Gonza, ahí lo toca hacia la esquina. Si no, se puede. Vale. Podemos estar ahí, Pablo, por delante. Si vas a Gonza, es que la vas a jugar y vas a ganar. Vale. Después al resto, que no deben de ser más para abajo, no perfecto. Y hay una que te quiero para mí, una vuelta y te voy a meter. Vale. Vamos a salir. Vamos al resto, te vamos a poner los huevos y vamos a buscar. Vamos, vamos, vamos. No me están pagando piña con la bolera. Who will be the first to break in this first set of action for this men's doubles matchup? Final match of the day. Las Vegas Smash and the Houston Volts coming back out of the end change. A quick feed from Garcia. He's seen the bulk of what Houston Volts have put together. <laughs> Flying high backhand. Guerrero. And somebody just lost a tripod. Man, I'll tell you, iPhones are expensive nowadays. <laughs> Hopefully they've got Apple Care. Somebody's phoning it as we speak. How many more phone puns can I come up with? <laughs> That's what happens at 11.30 at night. Garcia choosing to switch out his racket as that one just did a bit of punishing. I'm not sure who won in that scenario, the tripod or the racket. Alfonso covering down the line as well as through the middle right now. That spells trouble. Oh. And right now it's spelled G-A-R-C-I-A, -A, Pablo Garcia. Volt secure one more. In Houston, three games all. First set. Brings us to a tied ball game. Oh. 
same fake that we've seen from Alfonso. Recovery off the Portres. Guerrero is back in the action. This time it's the opposite side. Alfonso trying to find his own recovery, but instead finds the side of the fence on the outside of it. I like the combination of shots there from Las Vegas, pushing the backhand side of Garcia, and then quickly looking to the middle. Not a whole lot of time to think, let alone get your feet there. That skids along the length. Fifteen thirty. Effort there from Garcia. Imagine for both of these teams having a chance to play in the final match of the day. This is actually the first match for both of these two teams. Imagine waiting all day long. The match now starts at about 10 p.m. Tough for Alfonso, finds himself a bit in the transition zone. That ball not coming far enough off the back glass. Just a hair too low. Volts, break point. Use. You're going to attack. That's a great position to do so right at the foot of Garcia. Our first golden point here of our men's matchup. Finding just about every inch of that glass right now is Garcia. Waiting and slowing things down. The Las Vegas smash. Another high lob. And another slow overhead. And the miss, the golden point, the first break of the men's matchup. The Houston Bolts up 4-3. Bueno, y vete a tomarme el culo. Sí, no te digo. Estoy besado, tío. Having some fun here at the change event. Music's pumping. Might as well just head straight from the ultra 
Paddle Club to, you know, why not another club here in Miami? Just keep this party rolling all the way into the AM. We hope you brought the caffeine because you're only going to get about five hours of sleep tonight before we start back in action tomorrow. For the first break on the side of the Houston Volts. Another impressive smash. Oh, you know. They really seem to have gone away from Guerrero. Haven't been able to find him as often. Garcia doing most of the work to this point in terms of the Winners. Yeah, in Houston. Houston leads five games three. Five to three now. Another good hold. So the extension for the Houston Volts, this would be huge. Again, the Las Vegas Smash picked up the women's match. So this is a glimpse into what we're seeing throughout the evening. So important you have that complete roster. And I'm sure partnerships, different athletes. Everything will come to fruition throughout this season. We'll just see just about any imaginable storyline that you could. Still so much to be learned in terms of this format and its strategy. Guerrero finally getting a look here. A grateful bounce on the side of the Houston Volts. Yeah. That ball just in the yeah, foot yeah. of Garcia. Five games, four. Somebody grab that man some ice. It's another game on the side of the Las Vegas Smash. They trail now. Four to five. Dos o tres globos seguidos. Sí, 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 sí. Una y pum, una y entramos. Uh -huh. Vamos a perder un poco más chiquita, tío. Ahora estamos, no estamos tan chiquitas ahora mucho. Ya, ya, ya. Esa me gusta, porque yo siento que la, la víbora que tiene el centro con el es chota, tenemos que volver a repetir claro. o no. Claro. O entrar o, mucho o, más lento. Pero, pero, pero miren así lo que claro. es hueco para el chiquito. Otro, ahí sale. The Volts have created a bit of separation here with the only break on their side came in their fourth game. Now just one away as they regain the surf. Paul, second 
Lob going away from Garcia, most importantly. Guerrero finding one his direction, and then Las Vegas smash a quick exchange at the net, and they walk away with a point. That is what they are trying to avoid right now on the side of the Las Vegas smash. So far, Pablo Garcia's smash has just been devastating to the opponent. Very pretty. 13-15. Stopping short, Guerrero with the Vibora. First great defensive play, but the second finds 40, the side 50. wall. 40-15. Set point opportunity for the Volts. Game. First set. And that is the game and Houston. the first set on the side of the Houston Volts. This is getting game. awfully interesting. <laughs> the late night hours in Miami are proving to be that much more fun. Si lo repetimos, si lo repetimos, si lo repetimos, si lo repetimos, si lo Tú me te vas a volar. Vamos mucho son porque no para la cámara. Ponte bandera la toalla, tío. Vamos, ¿viste? Me sigo A fantastic first set that went the direction of the Houston Volts. It was all on the side of Pablo Garcia and the performance he had overhead. Now the Las Vegas smash. Let's see what adjustments they can find here. Sort of going the direction of Guerrero on some of the high lobs. Said they slow things down. Utilizing just about every shot in the book in this last rally, and including that of the Portres. 15 up. It was just one break in the first set on the side of the Volts. Earned them that 6 4 win. Stop, drop, and roll in the middle of this one. <laughs> and it pays off. Hit the deck.
करा रहे थे Still love the effort there from Garcia as he chases the, that outside the court. 30-15. Rare miss on the return. That is a great start for the smash. They earn their first hold of set number two. Of course, these are just two of our 10 total teams. We've had a great day here for day number one. We've had a chance to see not only Marcos Del Pilar, the commissioner, and hear some of his words of encouragement as to the growth of this league in the United States. We also saw that a Yankee, our first celebrity sighting. Of course, the owner of the Florida Goats. I think some of the top performances came. And the chance to see the world number one, Marcos Del Tapia, and the Miami Paddle Club. Played alongside John Sands. Fifteen. Bit of clinging before we get to the continuance of this second set. Again, the Las Vegas smash. Ladies taking home the win. Martita Ortega, along with Ale Alonso, number six and 22 ranked players in the world. Scooping this and giving it some side spin, cuffing this on his backhand side. That ball running away from Alfonso. Called out of bounds and some questions now from the Volts. Barely just a nick of Cardona's racket. Twisting and turning, trying to contort himself. Pablo Garcia.
Not enough court for Alfonso. 30-40. Perfectly located, and so is that. Back into the net, unreal contact yeah, for the Las enough. Vegas smash. Stunned are the volts on that one. Las Vegas leads two games to love. No chance you're getting a bracket on that. And an early break for Houston. Or excuse me, for Las Vegas. Hey! Love. Las Vegas getting a little life here. Looking to find their third game. Massive crossover hey, step on the volley and it pays off. Make it three. Love. Three games to love. Strong as he shifts towards the middle, opens up that overhead smash on the right side. Oh. 
massive overhead again. This time smashes on it and the drop shot's picked up. But it also creates a gap. Great point construction on the side of the smash. 30, 50. From the bandeja to the smash on Garcia, but Cardona's on it with an epic counterattack. Again, Garcia off the wall, and another great communication between the Volts. Day, Houston. This time, they hold serve. Las Vegas is one, three. three games to one. Great block, Alfonso. No way you can block that. Touch with the wrist. Garcia. He's getting challenged to the left and to the right. Another good ball picked up before the fence. Time to celebrate on the side of the smash. An extended rally, their direction. 30, 15. Again, good vision, letting that fall to the glass. 40, 30. Garcia continuing to work with that flattened return. Gets a hand on that, goes Potres, throws up in his hands and says, Deuce. let's make it look easy. Golden point. Time for a golden point. It's been a minute since we've been in this position. Watch this replay. Another reaction from Garcia. Breakpoint opportunity for the Volt. 
continues to return up the line towards the direction of Cardona. And the golden point stays on the side of the smash. They hold serve. Now up 4-1. Four games to one. Second set. No, no, por eso, pero Juan y ya le avisó que me saquen a la derecha y a ah. la derecha. Pero en el que me quede voy a ir, en el que me quede voy a ir. Salimos en sete, eh. Salimos en sete. Salimos en sete, salimos en sete. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Miami unafraid to stay up all night long, as are we just five minutes past midnight here local time. 4-1, the lead on the side of the smash, they, although they trail by one set. Of course, you can join in on the conversation, either online or using that hashtag, hashtag Pro Paddle League. Alfonso going to take some more time here to clean off the glass. Again, humidity is starting to play a role. The ball kind of slides off the glass a bit more in these types of conditions. I imagine with all four of these athletes spending as much time as they do on the court, can anticipate exactly where that ball is going to come off the glass. You'll notice just an inkling of change or difference based off the conditions. Watch the recoil here from Garcia. A miss hit. And Alfonso nearly lost his head. Oh, he actually did. that did hit off his head. So that actually is going to be a point on the other side. The Houston Volts coming away with that one. Didn't realize it actually touched him. Court exchange yeah. continues and it's out of bounds off Garcia's racket. 
continue and go to that head to head battle. on it but Houston La Riga needs four games to three. A few low bouncers and make it an additional into the corner. Cardona can't get his feet nor his racket to that one. 15. Oh. Watch the different spins coming off these rackets. From top spin to back spin, a little bit of everything right now. 30, 15. continues Alfonso and Garcia testing one another skill Cardona's on that as well the lights are shuttering as is the Las Vegas smash going to the bolts well past closing hour a fantastic point Some of these plays actually might be syncing up quite nicely with Sports Center's top 10, currently probably playing on the West Coast. <laughs> Open court right now for the smash. And on the easy one, right at his feet, off the bounds. 40, 30. Garcia, it's unimaginable to him. Hold. to test that backhand side of Cardona. Bandeja. Alfonso. Errors starting to mount on the side of the Bulls. Make it five to two. The Las Vegas smash with yet another hold. They are just one game away to forcing this to a third set tie break. Y de última larga a bolsa. 
Vale. Sigamos, 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 estamos muy cerca, estamos muy cerca. Me gusta que tires ahí para arriba y que tires en el resto. Y que el después en Francia al revés, también lo puedo Vamos, vamos, vamos. Vamos, punto a punto, vamos. Una vez empezamos. Five to two for the Las Vegas Smash. Just one game away. But Pablo Garcia is gonna do everything within his power to push this. 15 love. Hold. Can get apart, a bit of pressure. That's a great way to do it. A backhand volley, creating problems. So quick and explosive with some of those steps on his volley. Guerrero showing he's got plenty of speed in his game. Flat smash. No! Garcia is trying to keep the entire neighborhood awake at this point. Unido. Not careful, it might turn into an alarm clock. <laughs> Tap it like it's hot, the Las Vegas smash. Five, the Houston Volts. Las Vegas needs five games to three. Again, Las Vegas, all they need is one hold. And we could be going the distance here. April 2nd just turned into April 3rd. Unbelievable save. Guerrero somehow with a block that is actually over the top of his head on that right shoulder. Low 15. Just a superb snag right there. Ends up finding one in the chest. 15 on. Guerrero starting to come alive and protecting more of that middle. He's got Pablo Garcia up at the net, forcing that ball back cross court. They're wary of him. Change of tempo from the Volts as they change it back to full force. Thirty. 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 Thirty.
40-30. The Las Vegas Smash find themselves now with a set point, 40-30. Another fantastic block this time, it's from Garcia, but the smash finds set number two. Time to head to a third set tiebreaker. The final match of the day, going the distance. Estamos teniendo mucho amor hasta ganar muchos puntos. Que no la estamos cerrando, pero. Exacto. Vamos a confiar, ¿eh? Que ahora, ahora caen todas, ¿eh? Cosas raras, boludo. Escucha, ahora caen todas, ¿eh? A eso queremos llegar. Vamos a darle ahí. Tiramos todos los cortes. Ya se pare pare, peor. Estamos perfectos. Vamos ahora, ¿eh? Vamos a ver. 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 Venga, vamos a este frac. Tie break now underway. This tie break, play a super tie break, play to 10. And Alfonso strikes first. Bit of his own lightning bolt. Crunch time now. <laughs> Kick smash and it's played out the door for Quattro. On the side of the vaults. Wow. It was one thing to grab that and recover, a whole other to try and find that one. Two, right one. now, just trading punches. The vaults and the smash. Out of bounds and the Las Vegas smash on their third. If you're hanging out with us right now, sorry for your bout of insomnia. We're grateful to have you with us. As the volume continues to increase, the decimals now reaching the height here in Miami. Have to love the fight. 
still being showcased now. Again, just the first match between these two. I want to put on a show. Their first PPL event. 2024, the Chiquita from all the way at the back of the court. You can see the this VIP center. section urging them on. Tied up three all. You can see the damage. The Chiquita, that top spin drop all the way from the back of the court can create. Quick adjustments being made right now on the outside of the court. Everyone's influence and input now needs to be sorted by the four minds on the court. There's a few handprints left on this glass right now. Everyone working towards that sideline for Pablo Garcia. Might have even left a face imprint at one point or another. Finding the calf of Cardona. Whoa. Whoa. I guess that's one approach. Just find your opponent's body. <laughs> Defense from Guerrero. Alfonso getting twisted up, breaking some ankles. Alfonso finds himself on the carpet. Five four, Cuba. Five to four. There has not been a greater run than two in this tie break on both sides of the net. Right now, the Houston Volts with a shot to extend this to a three-point run. Everyone taking an extra second here to catch their breath. not liking the bounce off the glass here. He's going to ask for the towels himself. And we're tied back again at five. Whoever can string together more than Two might be the one to take away the victory here. This third set. Alfonso showcasing plenty of force. Smash back with the lead, 6-5. Flat smash, 
to a pull cuatro on the other side. Seven, five. Seven, five. Yeah, the yeah. lead extended now for the Las Vegas Smash. Let's see if they can go all in. Get it big. Las Vegas Smash just anted up. 7 5 coming back out. That was a three-point run, the first here in the tie break on the side of Las Vegas. An untimely error for the Wolves. Missed return. Can't have that at this juncture. 8-6. Cardona with a chest bump as he knows they are now 9-6. Match point for the Las Vegas Smash. Defend off the first. Nine seven. La Vegas. You need a handful more. Second map match point for the smash. Yeah. And off the missed Take backhand match. volley, the Las Vegas, La Vegas. smash prevail in the third set tie break. Six, four. A fantastic performance. Four, six, six, Dropping three, set one and finding seven. the second and the third. Las Vegas Smash are victorious. Their women picked up the win, as did their men, which means that they have two points in terms of their team total. The mixed match, all that's left to be played, but nonetheless, the win resides on the side of the Smash. Love the celebration from those two. Hard fought and well earned from that duo. Nearing the conclusion now of day number one. This being our sixth match of the day, we started in the early morning hours. Eight o'clock local time was the beginning of our broadcast. Now sitting at 12.30 a.m. Six matches later, ultimate paddle on full display. Multiple tie breaks, multiple upsets, and the best in the world coming to play in Miami. Now it's time to get a chance to hear, for, hear from our winners. We've got Javi Carrasco courtside with the Las Vegas Smash. Welcome back here with the winners of the match, Las Vegas. Congratulations. It was a really tough match. Gonzalo Alfonso and Pablito Cardona first. Gonzalo Alfonso, how is to play with Pablo Cardona? How do you feel now? ¿Cómo te sientes ahora? ¿Cómo estás, Gonzalo Alfonso, después de la victoria? Bueno, primero que nada, muy buenas noches a todo el público, la gente que, que nos está mirando. Es un placer, un placer, primero que nada, compartir este, este gran equipo y cancha con Pablo. Eh, la verdad que es un fenómeno. Pude disfrutarlo, sufrir, pasamos por muchas, muchas emociones. Felicitar también a los chicos que jugaron un gran partido. 
y bueno, es muy lindo arrancar la competencia con, con victoria. Uh -huh. really happy to play against with Pablo Cardona. He's really happy to stay here in Miami and the winning. Pablo Cardona, how do you feel now because your smash today was incredible, was an amazing performance for you? Well, first of all, we are very happy for being here playing in Miami with Las Vegas Smash, the last champion. So, I think we have a great team. Now I have played with Gonza, who is a crack. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have to give our best uh, during the week and going for the title mm -hmm. again. Congratulations, Las Vegas. Gonza Alfonso, Pablito Cardona. See you the next match. This is the last of the day here in Pro Padre League. Last of the day and I guess first of the morning. That's one way to look at it. A mixed match still needs to be played in terms of being able to pick up sets one. Again, this is the round robin format. So in this 